all right guys welcome back to the channel so before we get started today i've been seeing a lot of dms um people have been commenting about if you can install one of these light up srt airbags in uh, trackhawk and as you can see yes you could i just did one on this customer's car um so this is how it looked before you got just a regular jeep airbag i really think that this makes it look so much better people have different opinions on this but um i do sell these on my website with that plug-in um plug-in harness so you don't have to cut anything or rewire any wires just plug in the new harness plug in the airbag and it lights right up so this one here is blue looks a lot better when it's dark but you can kind of see it right there so that one's blue i also do them in orange um we do orange red white blue and green so if you guys are interested in doing that like i said it's a plug and play it works on the track hawks it works on the jeep srts um the durango srts and um all you got to do is take this airbag off if you watched one of my old videos you got to replace the harness and uh, plug in the new airbag and it works so this one here is getting shipped out today it's going out to new york we also did the star headliner and close the sunroof we did 1100 stars in here filled the whole thing up looks real good and it has a shooting star effect too um so yeah this one's going out and once the uh, once the shipper comes and picks it up we're gonna go and pick up the daytona that's been done at the body shop tell you i was i'm actually surprised like when this thing first got dropped off it was filthy you guys if you guys watched the first video you know what i'm talking about there were like tobacco marks everywhere whoever had it, a hot box this thing so it was just a mess um i dropped it off at dare my hat wash now it's literally brand spanking new all the door panels are stained up the, the seats the formats this thing was terrible but now it's literally brand new again so i did take off the driver wheel airbag like i said when i first got it i wanted to do the blue light in the background so matches the theme on the door panels on the seats and the actual color of the car so i popped that off i already have it disassembled so i can switch out the led in them and i should have that reinstalled uh tomorrow but um like i said this one is already sold so the customer is going to pick it up sometime next week grab the key real quick i still got to figure out why the keyless entry is not working the most likely is an antenna wait i didn't check if the other door works maybe it's just that door Yeah, so the keyless entry doesn't work. Doesn't work on the trunk. That one works. So there was one that goes over there. I already checked it. I gotta scan it and see what it's reading. But this thing came out really, really clean. So obviously we had to redo the wheels. And shout out to whoever, whoever commented and told me the um, paint color of these. They're called Argent, Argent Silver. And we ended up respraying them. They came out really good. Uh, we redid the calipers back to OEM. They're um, gunmetal gray with the white uh, decal on there. This thing came out really clean. We did all four wheels. If you guys remember when I first took the plastic dip off, it was um, it was pretty bad. All the four wheels were curved up. Brembo on the other side. Same with this one. So see what I'm talking about? I still gotta go over it. There's still plastic dip. That's, you know on the corners um what, the thing is they they went plastic dip on everything hold on so i have to just take my time and go through it you see right here they put it all over the seals so i'm gonna go over that take everything back off um they even put it on like the 
the actual grills, like they didn't tape anything off, so it's plastic dip everywhere. The problem is on the wheels, it was easy to get off because all I had to do was spray them down with some WD-40, then spray them off. But I don't want to spray WD-40 on actual parts that have paint on them because I'm not sure if that'll mess it up. And even on here, see that? Should be a big deal. I know it's gonna come off pretty easy. But yeah, other than that, the thing came out basically brand new again. Now on the decals or the logos on the fenders, I wasn't sure if this was a factory look, so I just left it the way it is. And it kind of looks nice, you know, with the white and the wheels. Came out pretty good. There's some overspray on the window, gotta clean off. But yeah, other than that, no, this thing is ready to go. I still gotta take it to KA Customs. We're probably gonna drop it off tomorrow so they can do the decals on the quarter. And there's one on the trunk that goes all over here to the other side. So once that's done, it's going to look like a Daytona again. Now also I have to order the SRT badge that goes over here with the cat on the side. Let's take it for a quick spin. That's really low miles, only 6,600 miles. Now, if I really had time with this, I would have done the um, the blue seat belts. Uh, I would have done actually black with blue stitching on the outside so it matches the door panels. That thing would have gave it that final touch. The only thing this one doesn't have is a sunroof, but if the customer wants, they can do the stars in the headliner and that would make it look pretty good. But yeah, let's take over a quick spin and then when we'll come back, I want to talk to you guys about the Hennessy Track Hog. It is back um, and it is for sale. So once we get back, we'll give you guys the details on that and if you're interested in buying it, you will know who to reach out to. Yeah, it's really smooth. The only thing it needs is alignment. It's kind of crooked to the right. But I want to take it on the freeway and make sure there's no shakes. One thing I put, not track mode, to custom is the, I put the transmission and track so it shifts better for everything else in the street. I've driven regular Hellcats, but this one feels way, uh, way faster. Only comparing the 10 horsepower, but it feels better. Rocks flying underneath the car. Probably something on the on the splash shields.
All right, guys, we made it back to the house. Daytona is parked in the back right over there. Like I said, that one runs pretty good. It drives really solid, just needs to get that alignment done um, right after I'm done with it at KA. But now we are in the Hennessy Jeep, um, has only 10,600 miles. This thing has like literally every single option. Got the Harman Kardon, got the panoramic roof, the suede liner, uh, suede pillars over here. Has a rear entertainment package, red seat belts, red seats. It has like everything that you can name for in a track hawk. Um, the customer ended up wanting to go a different way. So I ended up buying it back from him and now it is re, uh, for sale again. And I actually did some more work to it. Um, I installed some 1,000cc injectors yesterday and we are retuning it uh, for that. The old injectors are right over here. So I ended up going with the FIC 1000cc. Um, Those are installed. We should be tuning it sometime today before this rain hits. But um, 10,000 miles, 2018, um, has a rebuilt title, private owner, titles in hand. Um, has the A50 Hennessy package, which consists of an upper pulley intake. Um, I mean, some modified stuff, nothing too crazy, but it's such, it's such a solid build. Like, it's so fun, it's reliable, and you don't have to worry about it breaking down every time you drive it. It's wrapped in uh, HRE wheels, uh, 20s. These things are actually discontinued, so if you buy it, uh, you can't even get these wheels anymore. So they look really good on the truck. Uh, it has 305s, I believe. Yeah, 305, 4020s all the way around. Um, like I said, the interior is flawless on this thing. It's real nice. Carbon fiber on the door. This one is um, going for 80,000 our best offer. So if you guys are interested, I'm gonna leave a number somewhere over here that you, should, you can reach out to. Um, like I said, it's a private owner, so you gotta do sign the title and you'll be on your way. No lights on the dash. But yeah, got the performance pages, drive modes. Like I said, this one is it's a it's a very fast truck. I mean, I've I've driven faster ones, but compared to the ones I've driven before, this one's up there. But yeah, eighty thousand our best offer. If you guys are interested, text uh, that number. I'm leaving up here, um, and then first home first serve. You leave your deposit down, and then when you bring the rest of the money, you'll pick it up in person. Open that up all the way. Well, that's, uh, that's pretty much it for today, guys. Um, we got a few new things coming up next week that I'm trying to buy. And um, once I get them ready, then they'll be up for sale just like that one. But they go pretty quick. So that Daytona, I didn't even list it for sale. All I said was, if you're interested in buying it before I actually get it done, then you'll reach out to the number that I post and leave a deposit. As soon as I posted that video, the next day that car sold. So if you guys are interested in getting something from me, make sure you reach out right away and get something locked in so we can do some business. But that's gonna be it for today's video, guys. Hope you enjoyed. If you're new, make sure to subscribe, hit that like button, and I'll see you back on the next one.